<laughs> Ma'am, uh, okay. Your take on the first 100 days of President Marcos? Well, let's, let's start from his statement to the Manila Overseas Press Club. Sabi niya his, his main accomplishments are one, that uh, he had got the best and the brightest for his government, hindi ba? Mm. And, and uh, the second, ang government niya ngayon ay functioning. Mm -hmm. Not because he said he's got the best and the brightest. So we'll, we'll start. Well, you, have you seen the, the list of the names in, in the cabinet, at least cabinet level positions? Mm. There are about 31 cabinet level positions, and I checked out all those names, and I saw only 11, 13 tops of the 31 who are really the best and brightest for the position. Hmm. The others have to be, you know, have to be have had to be chosen on a different metric than hmm. best and brightest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you have to do is look at the names and look at their, their detail where you can get them in Google, mm -hmm. and you will find out. So it's so it's not true. Now the best and the brightest he got, that is for sure, for sure, are the four economic managers. So, ano kaya yung, uh, uh, do you agree with that assessment? No, I do not agree because I mean based on the evidence that we see. Look at what happened to the. To the shoe mm. of task. <laughs> that's not that's not a sign of a functional government. They were at government at odds with each other, and they were accusing each other of lying. Can you imagine? And uh, uh, there are so many other instances. Look at the fact that he is uh, he does not still have a health secretary. How can that be a functional government when health is one of the biggest crises we have now. Mm. As a matter of fact, Hindi ba? He, this, this administration has extended this, the state of calamity from COVID mm. from September 22 to December 22. How can that be a functioning government? 